in this session we are going to discuss the prose unit 1 prose 1 the topic of the lesson is the incident of the tooth written by mark twain first of all i would like to tell something about the author mark twain mark twain whose real name was samuel langram clemens he was born in 1835 in florida he is an american journalist lecturer and novelist who acquired international fame for his travel narratives especially the innocence abroad life on the mississippi and for his adventure stories of boyhood especially the adventure of tom shoyer the adventures of huckleberry finn are the one of the one of his best and most beloved work the characters tom shoyer and huckleberry finn become synonymous with mischief and pranks the story is based and extract from the book the adventure of tom shoyer uh, have you ever made up a story so that you could skip school and stay home the story is set in fictional town of stain petersburg in 19th century america fictional means imaginary place imaginary character event etc uh, this hero tom shoyer lives with his aunt polly his half brother sid and his cousin mary The plot here deals with how Tom makes up a story to skip his Monday classes at school. Tom Sawyer is the protagonist of this novel. What does mean by protagonist? Protagonist means the leading character in a play, film, novel, etc. He is very mischievous and often used as a synonym for his mischief in American culture. Often he involves in adventure with his friends and gets in trouble as the novel progresses he becomes serious and takes the responsibility of a proper leader next we are going to see the next leading character of this novel that is his aunt polly she is not only his aunt but also his guardian she is very simple and kind hearted woman who struggles to balance her love for her nephew with her duty to discipline him she generally fails in her attempts to keep tom under control because although she worries about tom's safety she seems to fear constraining him too much above all and polly was to be appreciated and loved let's see what happens when tom comes up with imaginative tales to a white school and this is called lenoda suburbia that means fear of monday On Monday morning Tom Shoyer found miserable to wake up from bed as it began another week suffering at school for him and he looked sad and decided on a plan to skip his Monday classes he wished to fall sick so that he could take leave and stay at home so Tom made himself uncomfortable and started to think of a stomach ache and he acted as if he is ill soon his stomach ache symptoms uh, died wholly away he thought for a while and discovered that one of his upper tooth was loose but he felt scared of aunt polly as she would pull the tooth out and that would hurt a lot then again he came up with an illness that that could lay him up for two or three weeks irrespective of the symptoms he began to shout aloud with the plan to wack up wack his uh, half brother sid symptoms means indicating condition of a disease tom began to shout aloud then he rested for a moment swelled himself and began to groan continuously still he couldn't wake up sid tom was annoyed and he shook sid this woke up him and now tom began to groan aloud sid was disturbed and restless and he inquired tom of his illness tom took advantage of this and said that uh, that he has been trying to wake up him for hours and acted as if he is seriously ill tom acted as if his life was going to end and once sid moved moved to moved out to call aunt polly tom gave a cunning smile after he heard that aunt polly she fled upstairs nevertheless with sid and mary at her heels her face was white 
too, and her lips trembled, and he inquired what the matter was. Tom re replied that his show too was mortified. Aunt Polly and Mary sat down and laughed for a while. Then she restored Tom's uh, foot. Tom claimed that uh, he failed to notice his tooth ache. He said one of his tooth is uh, loose and it aches a lot. Aunt Polly then he realized that Tom was trying to fool her. When he said that his toe was mortified, then he fluttered out what is a loose tooth. So that Aunt Polly asked Mary to bring a thread and fire to take off the tooth. Aunt Polly tied the one tooth with a sting and pushed the glowing towards to the Tom face. That made Tom's head to jerk away, thus the tooth getting out. Aunt Polly found these are all the dreams made up by Tom to bunk the school and go fishing. Though it came up with a hidden reward, as from the next day, Tom was the center of attraction as the gap of an upper tooth made him to spit in a new way that gained him quite a following of lads. The point of Thomas, childhood and youth are the best time of the life, so he wanted to enjoy his life. He don't want any responsibilities and cares. He seems to the world is full of wonders and possibilities. So he's, he enjoyed his every moment.